climate is uh, ours and it's everybody else's, so I got a few questions. That were, um, everyday chemtrails across our sky. Yes, thank you. Yeah, destroy, destroy the growing season, significantly destroy weather, caused California a disaster last week. And why do we allow over, why do we allow chemtrails over Idaho yeah, sky? Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know where, <coughs> where the threshold is, but <coughs> at some level above the ground, the federal government has jurisdiction. Um, but I want to make one point. The amount of energy that the sun uh, contributes to the earth in one hour is more than the amount of energy the human race uses in a year. So the sun controls the climate, uh, the human race has almost nothing to do with it. And this whole thing about climate change is a scam for right. politics. Yes. Yeah. That's right. yeah. I'm gonna speak to the previous question about the uh, Walgreens bill. I just did, I just, uh, sent out a quick text because I'm like, why isn't that on our radar? Because mm -hmm. I think all of us would care about that. Uh, and I got a response back that we have two laws already in place that would not allow that in Idaho. That's why that's not on our radar. The trigger bill and the heartbeat bill, I guess. Thank you. Thanks for that. Yeah. No. 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 Has anyone yes. introduced bills to curb the smart city agenda? It's rolling into our community. And so who has, and if not, <coughs> you all familiar with the concept of smart city? No. Well, they are. Yeah. Well, they're going to educate you. Right, Dale? Sure. Good. Got smart houses here. I, I think there's no legislation on it because, well, we just found out most people don't even understand what it is. Mm. It does exist yeah. a bit, of, and I don't know if I've pointed it out to anybody, but when we leave for lunches, I'm so used to speaking to the speaker. When <laughs> <laughs> we leave for lunches and walk down, is it Sixth Street or whatever the Matador is on? But but they have the smart city lighting. It's solar lighting that's equipped with cameras. So so as we go in with facial recognition, how many know that we have more cameras than China? Yeah. No, we do. We have more more surveillance cameras than China. Idaho. No, well, the U.S., not, not Idaho. But the design of smart cities is, I guess, part of Agenda 2030 now. It's to reduce us into population centers where you don't have to travel more than 15 minutes for all your business and needs. So they're slowly moving these things. Some of this started back with Agenda 2020 when our former governor signed us into the Western Wildlife and thoroughfare agreement with the United Nations, which we live in the middle of one, and that would call for eventually all of us to get out of those prized environments that are full of timber and wildlife and put us in smaller cities, easier, manageable. But, but the, the truth is it's so new to us that we wouldn't even be able to, sh I don't know how we would approach it other than just resistance in general. That, that's the honest answer. I, I just don't know how we'd approach it. Oh, that's Stop a good honest answer. answer. That's all yeah. 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 The, the thing right now is just getting uh, like-minded people online to when we're reading the bills, when we see this wording come up that we're opposing it. And and that's something that is really difficult, especially this time in the session, because the bills come so fast that it's really um, hard to read it and try to catch all this stuff. But that's my approach right now, is I'm really trying to, when I read the bills, if I see any of these words that drive us to that direction, to make sure that I'm telling our other legislators so that they know that this is a bad bill, or if you're okay in this bill, this is the direction it's taking us. So that's about, that's what we're, I'm trying to do right now in this session, but I agree with Dale. Um, it's not 
something that that um, is well spoken of down there. So um, we just need to get the information out there and we just need to put it on our radar. Thank you. John, can I mention one more thing about it? Just so Elaine brought up something really important and, and I would like to throw Joe some shade. <laughs> on, on, on the critical infrastructure issue, when RSs come in, we have no preview of those. We don't see it till we're in committee. And if it's four or five or six pages, sometimes you're, you're, you're about to vote on something that you've only held in your hand for a few minutes. Why do they do that? Why? Why do you think they do yeah. it that way? <laughs> and maybe there's a way to change the rules on that. I don't know. Because what an RS, here's the way it works. When we get an R, something is RS, it's a draft. It's my property if it's my bill, right? And no one in LSO, which is our legal services that drafts these for us and turns them into RSs that we bring committee, no one's allowed to see that until I expose it. So there's some confidentiality. You know, they're, 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 we, it's private until that moment, and that's part of the why. Because sometimes it works to our favor if, you know, you're, you're going to bring a bill that's got good intention and people organize too quickly against you. So, but, but in the case of the critical infrastructure bill, you know, that's, that's what happens in those events. And Elaine is a, a great reader. She probably reads more than IFF reads of the bills, but... Um, so it's hard to catch, but I'll say this about that bill. I don't care what form it comes back in. I'll be a no because our critical infrastructure is already laid out. And that bill sought to do a globalist move, which the you know, World Economic Forum is doing everywhere and, it, and increase it everywhere. We, we don't need another one. It's already all made. Good. Your sunglasses. Yeah, I see them. I see them. If I pick them up, they'll just fall again. Yeah. <laughs>